Jackson Buffer moon rock, I'm relaxing Max contract, get no reaction Then I moonwalk like I'm Jack What are your top five artists? Who are your top five artists? Wow, okay Hard Can question Top six, because I'm going to tell you my top six after it After that, because I can't have a top five Like, I can't okay. take this one person out So, it has to be top six for me Okay Um <clears throat> I have to say, uh, I don't know the order, honestly. I'm just going to say six. Yes. And I'm going to go by like who I know is definitely in there. And then the, the ones at the end are like, ah, I don't know, maybe. You Same know? thing I'm going to do. So I know one who's definitely in there. And I know a lot of you might not expect this, but it's Skepta. Yeah. Okay. Skepta is one of the most uh, incredible grime artists I've ever heard. When it shut down, that's not me and it shut down. Ring, ring, pussy, it shut down. Hey. Fashion week and it shut down. Went to the show sitting in the front row in a black tracksuit and it shut down. And one of the greatest performers and energetic on the mic, uh, just powerful, uh, just always keeps it real, doesn't, doesn't, doesn't fuck around too much, you know, more than, more than the, more than rappers do. So Skepta's definitely in there. Uh, who else is in there? Obviously Kendrick Lamar, I'm sure for everyone. Kendrick Lamar has to be in there. The fuck off my dick, that ain't right. I make a play fucking up your whole life. I'm so fucking sick and tired of the Photoshop. Uh, the work she's put out is not just artistic, but like uh, almost legendary just because it's going to be remembered forever. 100%. But like the, the effect it's had on people, on politics on news like it's it's interesting it's it's just very uh it's rap it rap really entered like almost like a uh a political landscape even though it was always in a political landscape like since its origin but like this it really was was in the public political landscape you know and like so kendrick has to be in there no doubt um who else top six um I have to go with, I have to go with Nas. I have to, Ooh. I have to go with Nas. Just cause um, Illmatic, uh, when I heard, I heard Illmatic late, like obviously, I mean, Illmatic came out when I was, the year I was born. Okay, so first of all, I'm already hearing it late, but I heard it later than like most people. Like I heard it even late into my like a rapping career, you know, like I heard it like three, four years after I started rapping. So maybe like, when I was like 18, 19. So, you know, like, I was, a, I was pretty grown then. And when I heard it, I, I mean, it's timeless. Like if anyone hears about it, it's just raw, free, it's just raw rap, you know? Yeah, 100%. Straight out the dungeons of rap. I still, I still need to check it out, to be honest. Bro, you have to. And, like, every, every, there are so many songs on it that you know. You know, like, they're legendary songs. Uh, but you're just going to love it anyway. Um, so Nas is definitely on there. Who else I have to give it to is Mos Def. Uh, Mos Def is, Mos Def, most definitely has to go on there. Just because of, just because of his work with Tyler Pauly, Black Star. Yeah, black like the slave ship gully that brought us here. Black like the cheeks to the roadways for tears. They leave black faces well traveled with years. Black like assassin crosshairs. Blacker than my granddaddy. If any of you hear that album, oh my god, it's it influences me to find another rapper and make something. So this is word out for anyone. Whoever hears whoever hears Black Star and gets influenced, hit me up because we are gonna make something crazy. Uh, Black Star is one of my greatest influences. Um, so yeah, most death is on there. Um, so what am I at four? Who you said so now? You said most death, Skepta, Skepta Nas, Nas, three, Kendrick, Kendrick, four, four. So I'm on four. So then last two, I'm gonna say just because they've had they've taken a lot of space in my music playlist uh, <laughs> since I was a kid. So Eminem is one of them. Yes, uh, for sure. Yes, <laughs> the the goat, the legend.
Eminem has to be on there. And uh, I mean, obviously his research stuff. God, I mean, his last album was like, what? Like, I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. And the previous album, Kamikaze, was, yeah. it was I okay. liked it. It was good. I liked it. I liked it. The one before that, ah. But I realized that Kamikaze was a reply to the really garbage album. And like, obviously he had a lot of valid points. Like, the criticism he got for that album from like his friends were for. Like, that was on call for. Like, this guy's a goat. Like, you gotta throw some respect on it. Even though a lot of those songs were like cringe and like garbage. Garbage. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah no, but no. yeah. Eminem is on there, and for the last one, again, just because he's taking a lot of credits, I know I might get roasted for this. I don't care. And this artist is not just him. It's a team of artists. Even though he's the face of it, it's his producers. It's his marketing team. It's how he has globalized himself and has fucking Drake. Okay, <laughs> now, now I respect Drake only because of the businessman he is and for the music he puts out. Working on a weekend like usual. Way off in the deep end like usual. Niggas swear they passed us, they doing too much. Haven't done my taxes, I'm too turned up. But you have to understand, it is not just him. If you look at, just open genius, look at any of his songs, there's like 18 writers on it, 10 producers on it. It's a business scheme. Okay, it is. But I can't deny the man that at the work he has put out, if you're reading This Is Too Late, nothing was the same. Oh my God. Those are iconic albums. If you're reading This Is Too Late, might be one of the best three EPs of, of, of like ever. It could be. Just because of the, the his performance on it, honestly, Drake's performance on it, Plus production performance on there is just all out legendary. And I think anyone who is a fan of Drake will agree with me that if you're reading this is too late or nothing was the same is hands down the best Drake albums. I agree with you. Yeah. So those are my six. Your turn. So straight off the bat, I'm going to go with J. Cole, Eminem. Okay. Drake. Hmm. J. Cole, Eminem, Kendrick. Uh, I'm going to go with Mac. Oh, wow. Yeah. Beautiful. Rest in peace. Yeah, he has, I have a different kind of attachment to him. I'm sure everyone has their own kind of unique attachment to him. But like my attachment to him was also with writing, you know, like the way he wrote his songs as a kid, being a kid making a song where he says, I'm just a motherfucking kid. Like, you know, like wait for his time to come. He's doing his thing, believe in him, trust him. Like the kind of message he was sending out to just be yourself and be, be comfortable with yourself, even though he was not, it was portrayed in the pain in his voice when he was singing the latter songs in his career. That was he was he was really inspirational to me, Mac Miller. Oh, he's he's incredible. Like uh, I, we all knew about Mac Miller since his origins, but it's like he never took the like you know the limelight, you know, really, unless un, uh, uh, unlike his time with like Ariana or whatever, like all that drama. But it's like uh, once they broke up and he put out that album just before he passed. Uh, one of the greatest, one of the most powerful albums I've heard. You know, and once I heard that, I was just hooked again. Mm -hmm. Just hooked again. And it's unfortunate that, uh, and it's happened recently a lot just because I think a lot of rappers have died, but a lot of you, you become, you hear more, like you, you tend to listen to the artists after they die, you know, a lot more than yeah. when they were around, which sucks. It happened with me with Pop Smoke. It happened like it like as after pop smoke died i got hooked <laughs> like i got hooked to drew beats i'm glad you said that because he yeah, yeah. true that's true yeah and i really would have put actually like oh, yeah i'm gonna definitely gonna go with drake yeah drake is the uh, drake yeah so i'm gonna end it with drake so Drake, Mac Miller, 
Uh, oh, fuck. I forgot about Kanye. Oh, fuck. Jay-Z. <laughs> <laughs> Kanye and Jay-Z go together. Right? I'm not going to like separate them. Kanye and Jay-Z go together. Um, fuck, I keep losing my shit. Yo, you got to count for me, man. You gotta- Bro, Kanye, Jay-Z, that's one. Yeah. Drake, uh, J. Cole, Kendrick, yeah. and... Uh, <laughs> Did you say it? Uh, <laughs> Kanye, Jay Z, Kendrick, J. Cole, Drake, Drake. Maybe, maybe five or six or two. <laughs> uh, and did you say M? No, you didn't say M. I did say M and M. I you did? Say, I started off with bat with M and M, I think. Oh, yeah, so far. Yeah. No, you started off with J. Cole, Eminem, Kendrick. Yeah. Then you said Jay-Z, Kanye, and uh, Drake. Or the other way, whatever. Drake, Jay-Z, Kanye. All right, whatever. You're at five. Let's Jay-Z, Kanye, separate. That's six. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> that works out. <laughs> I, I, put, I put Juice World in there, but, like, Juice, Juice World didn't really have that, that much content. Like, he had, like, some stuff. Like, I really... Oh, that's true. Uh, he's, he's talented, for sure. He's super, super talented. Juice Roll is super talented. The, the lyrics in his songs gets to people in some way, you know, that, and, and like the way that he sings it too, I guess.